so welcome. This video is going to explore how we can take one of your classroom banners, something like this, and transform it into an animated header. This is going to allow you just to spruce up a little bit, not consume your life with a whole lot of technical details. But as you learn this process, it's not just about how to create an animated Google Classroom header. This is something that you could teach your students um, to create their own GIFs and think about how you could take this application into the classroom. Could they create a GIF of learning to showcase their understanding of a of a concept that you're teaching? Here are some just ways that we can take this concept digitally, a, a easy way to manipulate some Google Slides so there's no extra tools outside of your Google Suite. And one, spruce up your Google Classroom. Two, think about classroom application as we think about hybrid and online teaching and things of this nature. So we're going to start here just in the sense that I want you to realize I've seen this question come up 18 million times in the forums and online. You can see when you create headers, there's always kind of like a, a dark little layer that goes over your picture. So whatever you create that's going to pop and, and be nice, remember that Google will always kind of darken it. And the reason being is they need the name of your class, the class code, and these options to pop as well. So just keep that in mind with your color schemes as you're creating this header. You can see I use like a teal. It's a bright teal that I created, um, but it actually comes across a little dark. So let's dive into the work and how we get this bad boy created. So we're going to start here in our drive and we're going to go and we're going to create a new Google slide. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new slide deck here. Now your banner of your Google Classroom is measured in pixels. It's 800 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this so I can find it later. I'm going to call this uh, Google Classroom Banner Template. That way I can just reuse this one over and over again um, as, we, as we get going if I want to create other banners in the future. So I've got it named here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go here to File. And we're going to resize the slide. So if you've done this before, if you've created interactive manipulatives and things like that, you know how to do that. We're going to head down here to Page Setup. We're going to drop this drop down screen. We're going to go to custom. And first, we're going to move the measurements over. We've got these options. We're going to pick pixels. And what I'm actually going to choose then is I'm going to make this 800 and the height 200. And when we apply that, we're going to get a much smaller little Google slide here. This is the size of the banner in the classroom right here. So that way we don't have to worry about things being cropped out. We don't have to worry about it not showing what we want. Now, what we're gonna do is create a series of slides. So each slide, think about it like stop motion or if you're creating a GIF or think if you've done that before, each slide is gonna be a step in the animation, okay? So before we go and do that, we are gonna install one add-on. So in this add-on, option. If you've never done this before, you're going to go down to get add-ons and it's going to take you. These are add-ons designed specifically for Google Slides. You have the same thing in your Google Documents and Google Sheets and things like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and type in Creator Studio and that should populate. I've already got it installed, but you're going to go ahead and just install this. This is what's going to allow us to convert the slides into a GIF when we're done. So you would just click that. It's going to install it. No big deal. It's ready to rock and roll. Okay. And you can know that you have it in soft. You can go to your add ons and you can see that it's right here. Okay. So now let's create this. I'm going to go through and just to expedite time, I'm going to go ahead and just create a title here of my podcast that I'm working on. And so I've been thinking about making a Google Classroom out of this. So um, I'm just going to call this Living on the Edge of Chaos. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the subtitle. Now you can type this in. You can make it whatever you want. First period social studies, eighth period language arts, whatever you, whatever you want to call your class, whatever you want the title to be. Um, that's what you're going to go ahead and just put in there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just get this added here now. All right, there we go. 
So now that I've got this, this is kind of like the static. This is the thing that I don't really want to change, but you could change this. Like one of the options could be is I could go here and what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this slide. If I wanted my animation just to be different color schemes, I could go through and make this eye red. And then I could do another slide and make the V red. If I maybe want the animation to look like the lights changing on the words, I could do that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add, for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to add some bitmojis um, just so you can kind of see how they layer in here. I think it's visually easy to see when we go through. So what I'm going to do then is each step, I'm just going to add one more bitmoji. Um, I've already got these saved off to the side, but I would normally just use my, my bitmoji app that I've got up here and, and search for these. I've, I've already got them picked out, so I'm just going to go ahead and just get these um, pasted in here. So I've found bitmojis that go with each of these ideas here. So productivity, here I am meditating, my peace of mind. And then I'm going to duplicate this slide again. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my, my next one here. Now you could do this, as you're starting to see here, each slide, think about it like stop motion animation when I teach like Lego stop motion animation. Every time we add an element or we move a leg, we're going to take a picture. These are just, think of these as like little little snapshots. All right. And then I'm going to go through here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do one more for the sake of this demo. Uh, we'll finish up here with this four. All right. So you can see here now I've got I've got five slides. You can make this as as expansive as you want. But once you have it the way you want, okay. What you're going to do then is you're going to use this add-on here, and I'm going to go here to Creator Studio and I'm going to choose Create GIF. And now it's going to give you some options here. Um, and this is going to allow you to pick pick how fast you want the GIF to move or how slow. And you're going to see these tools pop up here in just a second. There is a tutorial if you need it, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change these output so just so it, it works for me. So the width, remember again, is 800. Um, there we go. The interval, okay? I'm gonna go one second just so you can see that. Then I'm gonna choose animated GIF. I'm gonna click go. And what it's going to do is going to take those five slides, it's going to convert it into a GIF for me. And this is at one second interval while we're re recording here. So it's going to, every second, boom, it's going to add a new GIF. GIF right here. And I'm just going to hit this download button. You're going to see then it's going to download it right here. Now, if you use a tip that I've used before, you can just drag that wherever you want. But for now, I'm just going to move it here to my desktop so I have it. And now let's go to this classroom here. We're back in the Google class, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Upload Photo, because I have my own now, and I'm just going to drag that here, and you're going to see that it's going to pop up, and now it's going to adjust, and you're going to see, there you go, every second, boom, boom, and it's just going to repeat this at a four-second interview, or interval, so there is my animated theme. Again, like I could have changed the colors, I could have changed whatever, I could have made a star, and I could have had you know different layers expanding on that, however I want to design my animation. But that's how you can liven up your Google Classroom banner, maybe use it as a project in your classroom. But you can see here then even in the main page how it animates as well. Just you know, just a nice little touch that um, is kind of fun. It kind of brings spruces things up here as you get rocking and rolling. So I hope you found this helpful. There's lots of tips. There's lots of guides. But what I would love to hear from you is your thoughts, your questions, but more importantly, share your banners. I would love to see what you have created. So please, please, please share those with me. I would love to check it out and uh, see how you can use this for your own banner or maybe classroom application. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.